And more breaking news coming in, and this news coming in from down south in the neat exam scandal. The Kerala High Court has directed the National Testing Agency to file a detailed statement explaining the manner in which the test was conducted at its Kolam Centre, where female aspirants were asked to remove their inner wear before attempting the exam. And this was done to deter cheating. That was the pitch coming in from that Kolam Centre when it came to telling those aspirants to remove their inner wear. They wanted to deter cheating. I'm joined by uh, Ananya Bhatnagar on the broadcast on this piece of breaking news. Ananya, give us the details. What kind of statement does the Kerala High Court want? Well, yes, uh, the Kerala High Court has in fact directed uh, the National Testing Agency, that is the NTA, which is responsible for conducting all of these examinations to in fact submit a report with regards to the incident that had happened in uh, Kerala when the NEET exams had taken place. Remember, uh, what had happened was uh, certain students, certain female students were in fact asked to... Uh, appear before the examination uh, after removing the uh, undergarments and only after uh, removing the undergarments they were allowed to sit into that examination that was said that it was due to a security purpose and a lot of hue and cry had happened in fact the national commission for women had also issued notices to the nta and uh, the the uh, agencies that are conducting the neat examination sought a response from them and now the kerala high court division bench which was hearing a plea which sought an extra attempt for the, those uh, students who were aggrieved by this and also uh, that certain guidelines should be issued in this uh, nature has uh, now uh, been uh, given out by the Kerala High Court Division bench. You remember that uh, this comes after, uh, in fact, a month, almost a month after the examination has taken place. And in right. fact, the petition petitioner had also sought that an extra attempt shall be given out to these uh, aspirants who had appeared for the examination because uh, a lot of humiliation was caused to these uh, students and now the Kerala High Court had, uh, has asked the NTA to submit its report with regards to the whole incident, what had happened and how uh, the same uh, has happened and now what would be the future course of action when such examinations takes place. So uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to what the NTA says in its response, but it would be very, very crucial to note as to what the NTA says, how it justifies what had happened that day or would it apologize for what had uh, happened uh, during that neat examination because uh, a lot of protests had taken place and a lot of agencies had come out, uh, including Absolutely. the National Commission for Women and the State Commission for Women, had come out uh, in open uh, against this whole incident that had happened where the students were asked to remove their undergarments before appearing for these examinations. And now we'll have to wait and watch as to how the NTA responds to it and how what does it say in its affidavit before the Kerala High Court. Right. Ashpa. So the NTA has a lot of explaining to do. Thank you, Ananya, for joining us on the broadcast with that piece of breaking news. Shifting focus.